Howdy everybody, welcome to video number 11 in the elevator series. Um, so we are working on the elevator still. We have five or six more videos, even though it looks like they're going together here. Um, so in this video, basically all I'm doing is attaching the skins to that rear spar um, on both the left and the right elevators. Um, so it's not very exciting. Um, there are a couple of things to point out. The uh, bucking bar that I'm using there, that is from the Cleveland Aircraft Tool. Um, and I'll put a picture of that up there. I highly recommend that bucking bar. It makes doing that very, very easy. Um, the instructions do come with a, this is how you make that bucking bar, you know, with a piece of steel. Um, and if you're good with like doing that, just forming things out of metal, hey, go for it. Um, or you spend the, whatever the dollar amount is and you buy the thing and it's done and you're good to go. Um, but it worked really, really well. I was pleasantly surprised. I was kind of afraid of doing that. Um, but yeah, as you kind of push down off the edge of the table there, it presses right up against that rivet and it's perfect. You, you know, you use your rivet gun and boom, you're done. So it's pretty slick. Um, so that rear spar is not as hard as I expected it to be. Um, and in this video, I do both the right elevator and the left elevator. The left elevator has the trim tab. Um, and so more than half of that elevator can be done with the squeezer um, on the backside instead of bucking the using the bucking bar and the rivet gun. Um, that's pretty much all that really happens with this uh, the elevator the rear spar getting attached and you just kind of work your way across i was kind of randomly picking where i was doing stuff kind of in between and then i would you know, kind of move around and just trying to make sure it was straight that's all i was really hoping for and they ended up being very very straight it was kind of amazing um, so while I'm doing that, I got a joke for you guys. So what's the difference between a good joke and a bad joke? I mean, my daughter liked that one. So that one was pretty good. So as you can see in that last part there, I did leave the Clicos in that end of the the right elevator um, and that's because you're supposed to the to get the you'll see it in the next couple of videos but to get the edge of that thing all riveted together you have to kind of peel that edge back so you can rivet the other section in there um, and it was tight we were able to get it in and then in the instructions it does say you can use um, some pop rivets for that. And so on the, I'm not sure, one of the elevators, we actually kind of lifted it up and, and used the AN470 rivets inside there and it worked. Um, but the other one, I was like, man, that's such a pain. And if they're giving us an option to use the pop rivets, it's only like two rivets. And so I just used the pop rivets in the other one and it seemed to work really well. Um, it was a little bit easier, um, but nothing, you know, you didn't give up anything other than it, you know, saved you some time and saved you the, you know, if you lift it up too much, you crease that skin and then you're starting all over. So I was like, no, we're not going to take the chance on that. Then here I am, I'm getting the squeezer ready and to do the, where the trim tab fits in that left elevator. And that's pretty easy as well. You just kind of you know, make sure it's good. Make sure the first one's good. Once your squeezer's set, you just kind of go boop, 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 and you're done. Okay, just run that across there. I mean, you do notice on my rivet gun, I put tape on the end of it. Um, it seems to not mess up the skin as much. If I put tape, just one piece of tape over the top of the rivet gun, seem to help and I've seen that 
I don't know if it was Plain Lady or somebody else um, had done that. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to try it. And it does work out really well. So that is a tip that I would recommend using on your rivet gun is just put a piece of tape on it. It stops it from like marring the, the surface of the skin. So that's why I would recommend that. So here, this is the opposite side of that um, right elevator. So you have the both sides there. Skins go on both sides and one of the sides you leave open, the other side you close off. And so this is me closing off one of the sides. Um, and I have, I got that little flashlight from Harbor Freight. There's a, it's like just a one, like a stick flashlight um, that I use a lot. It kind of slides in there, lets you see things really well. Um, so I kind of like it and it's nice and bright too. Um, in this last part here, I'm actually attaching the ribs because you, uh, the, you back rivet the ribs onto the skins on both sides. Um, and then you put the, you kind of sandwich them together and then there's rivets that hold both of the ribs together. And so I was just working my way across here, um, um, riveting those ribs together as you go. And they're just pop rivets you put in the holes and then it attaches it and it becomes one unit. Um, it's kind of like how you did the rudder. Um, you, you back riveted the ribs on both skins. Oh, there's my daughter. She said hi. Um, you back rivet the ribs on both of the skins and then you kind of just put the skins together and then pop rivet the ribs together. I mean, it holds it together. And then just double checking stuff there with my handy dandy flashlight. Some of those back ones are kind of tough to get to. Um, that pop rivet gun, it's all the way in there because those things go all the way to that back spar there. Um, makes it kind of hard to get in there, but not too bad. There's enough space between the rivets for you, your pop rivet tool to, to fit, and then you're good to go. And then I do the same thing to the um, left elevator skin there checking them making sure everything looks good do the same exact thing to that skin um you'll see that finished up in the next video as always if you have any questions see anything i did wrong um leave a comment let me know if you like it hit the like button subscribe see ya bye